Glycolysis occurs when a molecule of glucose is oxidized into pyruvate. It occurs in most organisms and is the most ancient metabolic pathway. After pyruvate is produced, two processes occur depending on whether or not there is a presence of oxygen. In anaerobic conditions or without the presence of oxygen, fermentation takes place. During this process, pyruvate, which is a toxin, is reduced to ethanol and lactate. As a byproduct, small amounts of ATP are produced along with carbon dioxide. When we exercise, our skeletal muscles ferment glucose into lactate. It serves as a fuel source for cardiac muscle as well as brain neurons. Fermentation is very important when it comes to manufacturing foods. Because of ethanol, goods like chocolate, wine, bread, cheese, and tofu are able to be produced. In this video, we will discuss in detail the manufacturing of wine and chocolate. Due to the natural chemical balance of grapes, they are able to ferment without adding sugars, acids, enzymes, or other nutrients. The production of wine is made through fermentation of crushed grapes using an assortment of yeasts which consume the sugars fat inside of the grapes and converts them into alcohol. The chocolate we love and eat would not be so tasty without the process of fermentation. Because of the intense bitter taste of the cacao seed, they must be fermented to develop the flavor. Once fermented, the beans are dried, cleaned, and roasted and the shell is removed to produce cacao nibs. To produce pure chocolate, also referred to as chocolate liqueur, the nibs are grounded and liquefied. Once liquefied, the chocolate can be further processed into two components, cocoa solids and cocoa butter. Fermentation is what gives the beans their familiar chocolate taste. It is important to harvest pods when they are fully ripe, because if the pod is, is unripe, the beans will have a low cocoa butter content, or they will have insufficient sugars in which in the white pulp for fermentation, resulting in weak flavor. After fermentation, the beans must be quickly dried to prevent mold growth. Climate and weather permitting, this is done by spreading the beans out in the sun for five to seven days. 